Ezra chapter 3 verse 8 in the rebuilding of the temple that the youth Levites who were at 20 years and above were given roles of supervisors. So at a university which is 20 years now, it means we have raised supervisors. And that is very important. Now we are at the level of supervisors. We have already sent the message. They are ready to supervise our students. They are ready to become examiners. They are ready to teach online. They are ready to mentor. So that is very great. And I want to really thank God for the fact he has brought us. The other critical thing is that this is the first post-COVID graduation. That one let us not fail to recognize that the last graduation we held it virtually and the parents were not able to come, students were not able to come. It was really a big hassle, too much complaints. Students were waiting for an opportune time to bring their parents to the university to graduate, but it was not possible. So we really thank God that even COVID went now we are going to have our famous graduation at Bishop Stuart Riverside Playground as a start of the springboard for our Faculty of Technology and Engineering Sciences, which is yet to begin. So we will have five programs. That is the far the university has grown. And it is also important to note uh, that our students, whom we have groomed, I've already told you, we have now raised supervisors. They have now been appointed in various sectors in this country. Actually, wherever you go, like now, if you want production officers, you go in almost every district, you find a Bishop Stuart University student. Actually, whenever I mean, say I'm trained in the best field, this is why God, even those who have trained elsewhere, they have come here for masters. And now they are coming for PhDs. That is very great, the national leadership. You know, like the 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 the, the, the mayor, uh, the road mayor of Mbarara City is our student, Honorable Kacheles. The deputy, the speaker, uh, Honorable Tashobia, is our student, BSU. Now, if you go in other areas, you find uh, BSU. It's all over. It's represented. Now, what else? That means we have actually proved. It. If you go in the places like Bushen, you go and check who is there, the agriculture officer. Our students have been in Kamwenji, our students. Even if you go in Kagadi, you find the BSU students are there in IT, wherever. In the police, in the army, we have. Many of them are now even at high ranks. They were trained here as our students. I know there is, there is a fan de Kambia, so I don't know why he is, but he was one of our students. Uh, Baram was our student. And that means that the university has really grown. And our growth is because of your support. Media, you have supported us. Parents, guardians, and this region, you have supported us. We thank everyone. Everyone, all of you have contributed. You have given us students, and you continue to give us more. The teachers, by the way, teachers now, yes, you, we are the ones, the teachers, the principals, like now, the inspectors of schools. I understand Rampada Inspector is from uh, Bishop Swat University. Uh, these farm schools, they have our staff. Now, uh, the list is actually endless. We are actually now providing our alumni. We are among the top five taxpayers in this region, both NSSF and the PAE. I'm sure you know what, what it means when we talk about taxes. So, revenue. Uganda revenue so they even took us the region. We are now at the at the headquarters in Kampara. Because we are a big tax base, medium tax base. And we are looking like in four years we have been able to give government over five point six billion in the taxes. In NSSF over two point six billion, just four years. Now you imagine twenty years, how much have we been contributing toward this? Uh, Revenue towards NSSF towards people's welfare. Now we are also we also withhold the taxes on the behalf of government. We do withholding tax for our suppliers and we remit money to government. And we have been faithful to this. And actually, also God has been faithful to us. I would say where we are 
We all need pray for God's blessings. We need more learners. We know parents who are challenged with COVID. And we are moving on. As far as infrastructure development, our road network in DSU is one thing. That is one of the things we are presenting before UNRWA and our excellent see, the president, but also the local leadership. And I know they are thinking about us. The other critical thing is that post-COVID, the staff the definitely were affected. We think that the staff circle is one of the things that should be enhanced and we can boost it. But most importantly, we are thinking of science teachers. You know, we receive students from government. The government loan scheme students. So far, we have over 500 who have benefited from BSU over government loan scheme. That is not a small achievement. We really appreciate the government for the offer of the government loan scheme in science-based courses. And now, we need to focus on the teachers. The teachers who teach sciences, they need a boost. But this one is in collaboration, in talking, and in partnership, really, because government has done what it can. We also receive students from State House. We have State House plus the students. And so far, we have a good number that has finished here and deployed all over the country. I mean, on Thursday, the 5th of May, we are having a public lecture. And our core speaker is uh, Dr. John Mujisha, professor from Cavendish University. He's a vice chancellor of Cavendish University. He's our partner and our friend for long. And the discussant is none other than Mr. Herbert Mugunya, a senior regional director, Cooperation Action International. You can hear things of cooperation. The population of Uganda is not going down, it is increasing. And I remember one time when the president said, we were meeting him as Makai, he said he's waiting for a time when he will see the population of Uganda is over 50 million. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and therefore, it, it is something we need to think. Now, the thing will be higher education in Uganda's growth and challenges management in post-COVID-19 era. Of course, the population is increasing. Students in the schools, at home, the youth, employment, there are so many things that have come up. Now we need to start to reason together how do we get out of these pandemic issues. Of course, you know, people have lost jobs, including the university. We have gone to companies, we are doing restructuring, and other places. Now we need to think outside the box. What do we need to think of? Agriculture. Agriculture is one of the biggest employers that has not been well exploited. We need what we call principal farmers with good knowledge. And agriculture, what do we need? Very addition now and commercialization. We have a lot of knowledge, but this knowledge must be commercialized now. We need to put things on the table. Like now we have oils, medicinal plants. We are extracting oil, and oil is being sold. That is money. If you can grow moringa now, it is money. If you can grow lemon grass, it is money. Now, if you add value and extract oil, then you make more money. So that's what you want to see. Beans, of course, you know now. Beans, you now the kilo of beans. On harvest time, a kilo of beans is already 2,000 and beyond 3,000. That shows the demand for food is very high. And you need to know that Western region is regarded as a food basket of this country. Therefore, we must enhance and enhance agricultural resources. And also, we need to think outside the box, look for jobs. Jobs that are not here, there are many jobs which are not yet created, especially with COVID, like uh, online jobs now. Our youth must think how to use online to get jobs. You can be here now, you're working outside. We are writing a proposal with MasterCard. But you know, guess what was there? The office of MasterCard in Uganda was closed. Why? The person, the people work from home. And they are very efficient. To research so that you can work from home and actually be efficient. Better than even in an office. 
we are well known in sports like our girls working with the team. They won, who are actually number, number three. But it's because we didn't have all the games, like if our swimming pool, our sports complex, by then it's also one of the things we shall present to the government, but and a win, that if our sports complex was done, we would be the champions of sports in this region, actually would host international games here. Like a swimming pool, ours is supposed to be standard swimming pool. If it is to be done, we would have those, those games, but you can see football for girls who are the winners. Volleyball, I think we are the winner. Woodball, we got bronze. Volleyball, we are the winners. We got to get the medal. And football. And therefore, we have now qualified to go at regional level. Now we are going to East Africa. And we are going to go in one of those nice universities in Kenya. It's an international university where we are going to have our games so our girls are going there that is also part of exposure and opening doors for our students including those who are part and part of bsu i'm sure they are happy human rights we are going to host human rights here on actually we have bishop Stuart university week from 12th to 19th that one it is the seventh and after that we are going to have human rights competitions and I can assure you you are all invited and yes you know we are champions we have been winning we are number two so we have good debaters we have people who can stand and we have an enabling environment and lastly I've already said our programs are credited by National Council who work closely with regulator work closely with Minister of Education and Sports Work closely with the director of hospital, like now the the director by regional referral hospital is one of our guests has confirmed will come. And uh, we cannot take it right as far as training of nurses and and who are also at the helm of fighting COVID. You are aware that one of our students was in Great Bay and Tebe was handling COVID. We have National Council for Education. They also, they charge. Medical. We have medical fee. Yes, you need to be treated when you are sick. Our students go to Haro Mission Hospital. Uh, we have a clinic here which you manage. So which function of fees will you remove? In fact, you will say, like BSU, you have not charged the function of fees that are actually outside. Even last year it came, but we told them, look here. Even during COVID, we are saying function of fees should be removed. Even chaplaincy. We run a chaplain, we have a chaplain, you know where we are, we have a chaplain, we have chaplains. We have a ministry, this is a Christian best university. You cannot run without spiritual nature. So the chaplains, like now, Eid yesterday, we, we, we celebrated Eid because we also had to give something to the, to the, to the chaplains. You know, BSU you has three chaplains. What are you going to The Anglican chaplains. Actually, the Protestants, chaplains, because the Anglican takes on all Protestants, Pentecostals and everything. Then we have the Catholic chaplains, we take care of it. Then we have the, the, the Muslim chaplains, they are all part, and we supported them. So you cannot remove such fees definitely, and you can see it. So, I, I, I think fact BS is very fair when it comes to that. So maybe sometimes the functional fees are not explained to policy makers. They don't know what these policy fees are for. Like you cannot remove a library fee. You cannot remove computer fee. You cannot remove medical. You cannot remove guild fee. We want to groom leaders. These leaders they have, you have seen, we have the best guild chambers here. Actually, the guild president, I've seen him around. You should ask him. Our, we have state house. So when we say His Excellency, the good president, Emma Vehagan, really the man is a, is, a, is a boss. He has a whole state house here and good chambers. <laughs> right now he's going to build a commercial center, which he has actually started. He's going to build a commercial center. He needs money. And, and, and that's what we need to thank. But our students are very unique. Our good leaders are very unique. They do innovations. They do innovations, 
they are their money is not for eating is to invest and that is very good we want to commend that and i don't think it is anywhere those who have come to bsu they appreciate our good leaders they know they are servant leaders most extension workers are not vast with some commercial groups or oh, in some knowledge in agriculture i want to let you know that agriculture is very broad nobody has everything Vanilla is a new crop. You have given an example of vanilla. It's a new crop. But I want to assure you, they are experts. When you don't have knowledge, you go to experts and you ask and get to knowledge. So extension workers, they are trained. You know, that's why every institution, every university, even in medicine, wherever, there are, is what we call refresher courses. Refresher courses are meant to train people in areas where they are lacking, ask questions. And they understand what they don't know. So if someone is trying to use vanilla for us, we have an expert. Let them come in the university. We shall give them extension, and they can come. For example, the other day, when we were at the Agureta Ankara exhibition, they were to talking about soil testing. We have a soil testing kit here, and we have experts who can go and test soils, and they tell you how your soils are rich or are poor or are lacking certain minerals. So that one, that, that skill you can come and get from the university. If you don't have, we also go to Naro, Mbazadi. We, we network with Makere University. That's why we sign MOUs as a university, for example. We have an MOU with Makere University, an MOU with Chambogo University, with, uh, with Guru University. Now we have signed one with Muni University. We have an MOU with Uganda Christian University. We have an MOU with Mbara University of Science and Technology. Now, all those MOUs are meant to enhance the teaching and research in institutions.